Hello, I'm Angela Perry-Clear-Smith, Specialist Fertility Counselor and Chair of the British Infertility Counselling Association. It is likely if you are watching this video, then you have been impacted by the decision of fertility clinics to cancel or postpone treatment during the current coronavirus crisis. Extraordinary efforts have been taking place by fertility teams across the UK as they manage these challenges and ensure safety for everybody. Things have been changing at a rapid pace and on a daily basis. And many of our NHS fertility staff members are being redeployed into other areas in the NHS to support their colleagues on the frontline fight against COVID-19. If you are in the process of fertility treatment or about to begin fertility treatment, it is likely that your vulnerability levels and anxiety levels have been intensified by these decisions to cancel and postpone fertility treatments. The decision has been taken out of your hands which may have left you with fear of not having any control and a sense of uncertainty about your fertility future and fertility options in the future. The sudden loss of your treatment options may have left you with a sense of disbelief and grief and it may even feel like everything has changed whilst at the same time nothing at all has changed. During the rest of this video, I'm going to talk through some potential coping strategies which may be beneficial to you during this really difficult time. And I guess one of the first things to say is that every single emotion that you are experiencing is very valid. That can be sadness, fear, anger isolation and for some even a sense of relief. All of these feelings are really valid. It's usually taken you a long time to get to the stage of beginning treatment and usually with lots of challenges and battles along the way at every step of the way. So it's okay to feel that the situation is unfair. You're not overreacting. And in fact, what is vital is that you give yourself permission um, to experience the emotions that you're feeling. It's also important that you put a time limit on these emotions. Set yourself a time limit, whether it's 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour. Set yourself a time limit and allow yourself to experience the emotions you're feeling. In this way, you are giving yourself permission and you are not being dismissive of your own feelings. It's also quite natural at this stage to be imagining negative scenarios. And again, it is important that you allow yourself this time. However, if you don't set yourself a time limit, you might find yourself in a downward spiral of negative thoughts that you're unable to get out of and losing optimism and only focusing on the negatives. So it is essential that you're able to get to a place where you can balance the more irrational thoughts with rational and healthy thoughts. If you do become totally overwhelmed with your negative thinking and emotions and struggling to come out of these, it may be useful an exercise to focus on the present, the here and now. So focus on your breathing, listen to your breathing, the sensations of your breathing. Think of the ground beneath you. What do you see? Name some things that you can see around you. What do you notice? What can you hear? What can you touch? And what can you smell? Going forward, it is useful to think of things that will put you in control at a time when you've got little control. So things that will add value to your day and generate positivity and give you a sense of control. Things that are positives for the future, what you can be doing now. So for example, 
it might be getting healthier, eating well. It might be physical exercise. Physical and mental health are linked. So do try and ensure you've got some physical exercise of some form in every day. It's important to remember self-care is important. You are important. You're not only important when you're going through fertility treatment. So do this for yourself now. Think of other things which may be beneficial for you. And that varies from person to person. It might be writing, keeping a journal of your thoughts and feelings, having the opportunity to write those out and express them and an outlet for them can be therapeutic and help you process some of these. Book groups, perhaps learning a new hobby, learning new language, cooking, baking. What about working through that never ending to do list of jobs that you've got to do around the house that you never simply find time to do? Download a podcast. There are many fertility related podcasts out there, such as Natalie Silverman, Cat and Alice, Defining Mum. These are just a few of the many available. And of course, there are thousands of podcasts which are non fertility related. Practice gratitude on a daily basis. Think about one thing every day that you are grateful for in your life. And self-affirmations can be useful at a time like this and practice saying it out loud. A useful self-affirmation is, there is nothing different I can be doing today to change the outcome of this. So there is nothing different I can be doing today to change the outcome of this. The most essential coping tip I have at this time is communication. Communication is key and being able to exp express and talk openly and honestly about how you are feeling. So start considering who your support network can be, family, friends, colleagues, and ways to maintain contact with them and communicate, whether that's by telephone, WhatsApp calling, FaceTime calling, Skype calling, they're all really important and particularly important if you are single and facing this challenge alone. There are lots of patient groups available out there um, which work remotely. Have a look on the Fertility Network UK website, all about fertility website and also the useful links page on the Beak website. One of the things that will may help during this time is information and communication. It's absolutely crucial. And it is likely that your fertility clinic will be providing clear updates on their website and social media channels. So please do keep updating yourself by um, looking at clinics, websites and social media channels. On a final note, it is very normal to need support um, at this distressing time. And in some ways, it, you maybe need that more than ever. Counselling support should still be available by your clinic counsellors, albeit this might now be remotely, by online counselling or telephone sessions. So in the first instance, please do contact your clinic and check your counsellor's availability. In addition, there is a Find a Counsellor directory on the Beaker website highlighting specialist accredited fertility counsellors who may be offering telephone and online counselling at this time. Stay safe, look after each other. Please don't forget to communicate with your friends and family at this difficult time. And remember, fertility staff want to return to normality as soon as they possibly can. Thanks.